All right, so it's another day. All the stuff out the front's been chucked in the back. We actually have a seat in at the moment now. Oh, the other seat, oh dear. Turns out it does matter which way you bolt the runners down because the seat head bolts cache on the base of the seat. So it means I've got to file down the bolt heads a little bit, cut a little slot into the bolt heads to get the seats to uh, to sit flush here to click in. Um, so yeah, this happened. The roof has been um, insulated and soundproof too. If I knock on the roof now, it's a nice donk, not a boom. It keeps going on for hours and ringing away like a bloody gong. Um, I'm actually in the process of just uh, doing something with these um, insulating, closed cell foaming the uh, those bits as well. You probably won't notice, but I actually have uh, in the last couple of days uh, I've completely stripped the front end down, um, and I mean everything. Well, apart from the dash, but the bottom parts of the dash I've taken out, all around the pedals I've cleaned. Um, the whole floor has been completely jet washed. It's all come out out the van. All of this has been taken off. All of these covers, all behind the seat belts, have been taken out. Um, the seats. I can't clean the seats on here. They were jet washed too. <laughs> and I, I also try to fix this. Uh, the, all, all of these seats get a little flat spot here where you sit on it to get in the van and uh, I've just banged a bit of foam in there. Thankfully this part of the seat just in, unclips from the bottom here. This handle, if you've got a fork shaped device or uh, I can't remember what I use now. Uh, I think I use a pair of thin mole grips actually of all things. Uh, like long nose, needle nose mole grips. Um, stuck it behind there and it just and it pops off without breaking anything, which is nice. Yeah, all the handbrake, that's all been taken out. Well, um, under the seat, it's all nice and clean now. Um, I've got methylated spirits under there and pipe for when I do the water. Uh, the jack's all been washed. Everything's been washed. Nice, nice. And I can see the bolts look. I've moved the seats forward one bolt. Right, one thing that you can do in these vans now, the seats in these, originally it was bolted to this bolt, so that bolt was there and the whole seat was back to that bolt. So you can move the whole seat forward by one bolt length. And uh, when you do that, you can see on the back there, there's actually three, not the camera for six, there's actually three bolt holes that you can go through. and. Uh, like I say, the whole thing was back one bolt, but I've brought it forward one bolt. And while I was doing that, I thought to myself, I'll, you know, clean out the whole front. And normally in these, there's a basket inside the seat, which I've taken out, as you can see. A <laughs> gearbox behind there, a lot of gearbox oil, so I say, the new stuff I've got to put in this thing. Drain the old out, put the new in. Because that's where I'm going to be putting the diesel heater underneath that seat. So, a little uh, basket that you get, uh, it's just a space waster anyway. So I've taken that out, filed, you know, filed down the bits. So that's basically all I've done, I've not really done anything else. Back end wise, don't know if I've shown you, but the, the flooring is bolted down now, or screwed down now, so it's all secure, it's all screwed in. Still not got my wide angle lens yet for my camera, it's taken ages to get through. It's a UK uh, seller, but it's taken ages to get it. Mind you, we have just come off Easter Sunday, so I guess they've, guess they've got a backlog from that. It's only one day, but it puts one hell of a strain. <sighs> Take a breath. Uh, yeah, so as you can see now, the driving seat's not moved in its position. I never moved the seat runner when I unbolted it all. Uh, but now, as you can see, the passenger seat sits further forward than the than the thingy seat. Than the um, sorry, the driver's seat sits further forward than the passenger seat does now. Which before it was the other way around. Which means now I can bring my bulkhead to as far back as the passenger seats. Uh, I've checked the position out, and 
this is the seat runner quite a fair way back, further back than what I would normally have it uh, when I was driving, so I thought, you know, that'll do. And I've uh, actually marked where uh, the wooden button needs to go, because I'm going to be putting a wooden button straight across. Uh, let's hopefully support this a little bit. Oh, the plyboard can when it goes in. Means I won't need this thing anymore. Not that it's a problem, but you know, it just gets in the way, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I've got hay fever starting, which is nice. It's either hay fever or the COVID-19 uh, yeah, COVID virus. I'll get it pronounced right. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's hay fever. Oh yeah, and another thing that happened to me as well. I haven't got a mirror on this thing, but I can just turn around the camera and show you my eye. Oh yes. How does that look, huh? Nasty, huh? Thankfully it wasn't anything on this uh, van, but I was playing with a bloody cat. Um, and he managed to just catch me in the eye. Didn't do it on purpose, like, but... Like I say, he's got to be careful. Uh, it's come close before and I never really learnt from my mistakes last time, but this time it happened and I, uh, yeah, he caught me out. So yeah, enough talking. My eye is very sore, I've been wearing sunglasses all day. Now the light's going down, it's, it's gone six o'clock, it's getting on for seven o'clock now. I'm probably only, only going to be out here another hour or so until it starts going cold. Um, hopefully I'll get this covered in that time. I want to try and get it all down here and around to here. Um, well, maybe not, just to this edge I think I'm going to do it to. That's where the ply board's going to be uh, sat, so it doesn't really matter about that. Uh, for the bulkhead, ply board bulkhead. will be sat there. So that should be fine. Magnets. Can't not have magnets, they are very very handy. Uh, this wire here is the wire for the light, um, centre light, uh, which uh, I want to keep it obviously. So the wires are going to go come up here and along, but obviously this part here is going to be, um, well I can screw it into this thing here as long as they're thin screws. Um, but I'm going to screw directly into this, which is a nice, uh, uh, like a box section, I suppose. Skeletal structure of the cavity of the van, yeah. Um, and all this to about this height, continuing on, is going to be a cupboard. So, yeah. Uh, these holes, I want to keep them, because I think they'll make amazing cubby holes. But I'm going to try and put some insulation on this bit here, inside. I mean, big idea for like chucking your socks in there or something, you know, underpair, underwear and stuff. At the moment it's full of, it's full of old cam belt and the other one's full of, uh, on the other side it's got the brand new belt in it, the, uh, for the uh, fan, you know, the fan drive belt, whatever you call it. Alternator belt. Auxiliary drive belt. These things are so lovely. I mean, just look how loose the door is. It's no wonder it doesn't sit right. Common thing that people do with these doors is they um, unbolt this bolt up here and they pack behind this a load of washers to try and bring the door in and um, make it seal again. Otherwise, it's very windy and it's probably something that I'm going to have to try and do. And alternatively, you could try and bend the rail further inwards or up to the roof. Uh, doing so would probably bring it in a bit more and this thing does have quite a bit of play in it, you know, for you to be able to do that. But we'll see, we'll see. Enough talking, let me get on with it. I'm in agony with my eye. <laughs> it's absolutely freaking killing me. Went to A&E um, because of it. Didn't really want to with all this pandemic going on, but I had to. Uh, thankfully I didn't punch my eyeball, which is good. Which is my biggest concern. Um, but instead, it's just incredibly sore. Let's keep putting this stuff in it. Can't move it now, antiseptic stuff. <sighs> yeah, it's absolutely killing me. Right, see you in a bit. Well, for you, it could be a second or two. 
All right, as you can see, that is all stuck up in there. I'm going to auto carpet it over the top of this, and yeah, I still do have that in the way, but my plan is to just make a nice little U-shaped cut in this with the auto carpet on as well. It could be a little flap secret compartment. Not so secret because you guys all know about it, but a little secret compartment in there that I can, you know, put me pants and socks in. It's all that little bit of space, isn't it? And the cool thing is with that as well, the pants and socks will act as insulation as well. The cam belt's still in there actually. <laughs> Not taking it out yet. That ah, can stay in there. It's the old one. I don't need it. But yeah, I thought that was a good idea. And like I say, all of that will be accessible from the cupboard. The cupboard's going to come to about here. There we go. Oh, I wish I had that wide angle lens. The cupboard's going to be about here. So it's going to be a, quite a reach in to reach in and grab them, but yeah, it could be all right. Every bit of space counts. Every bit of space counts on this. That's why a lot of the stuff I'm making for this is going to be underneath the van. Actually stored underneath it. Um, rather than you know, in cupboards and things, because if I did that, I'll have no space left in the cupboards. Oh, aye. Right, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I told you that I put some butyl um, sheeting under here. Sound deadening, didn't I? Well, if I didn't, that's what that square is there. You can just see it. I can see it really well in the video. There's another piece there. Look. And then the uh, auto carpet's going to go over the top of this. It's made a massive difference to the way that sounds. It's quieted it down loads. Can't stress how good that stuff works. I didn't bother putting it in the back of the van because it's pretty much had XPS polystyrene, which is pretty dense stuff. It's light, but it's dense. Um, yeah, like I say, that's the other new belt that's got to go on at some point. But I've got to take the wheel off to do that, uh, which I've just done. So uh, I'm not doing that anytime soon. Yeah, if anything, I could keep them these things for spare parts. You know belts and stuff in them or something, I don't know. Consumables, maybe a spare fuel filter in there. Who knows? Yeah, they'll probably rattle around a bit. I think the socks idea and underwear and whatnot is better. Alright then, I'm gonna go in there I think. I've done that side. I really wanted to start getting the auto carpet on, but I don't think I'll get a chance. You see, I want to keep this face this this bit here obviously auto carpeted over because i've got plans for that i'm going to be sticking some gauges in this and switches and things uh on a little thing that comes up and across it's going to have um, a few gauges and stuff on it uh not engine wise just electricity power so i can monitor what uh my batteries are doing while i'm going down the road you know how much juice uh, juice is going into the batteries and whatnot it's nice just to be able to see what's happening Keep my eye on things, that, that way I, uh, you know, the more monitors and gauges there are, the more I know what's happening to my charging circuit. It'd be also interesting to see how much solar power I'm generating as I'm going down the road. It'll be quite interesting to see that as I'm travelling. Um, all silly things, I don't know, this is what goes through my mind. Uh, it's my van, I can do what the hell I want. Uh, no one can stop me from doing my van build. Well, people can stop me, I suppose, but no one can get in the, in the way of my designs. I've not got to comply to any safety regulations or anything because, hey, I'm doing it myself. Um, and I'm not having this thing registered as a, as a, van, as a camper. So well, I can't, legally can't, because it's not big enough. Um, I can't register this thing as a camper van because, number one, it's not a high roof, which it legally has to be in the UK now. Number two, it needs, I think it's more than one window. It's got to have two windows in it now. It's got to have a two ring burner or a microwave, which, okay, I, ha I am going to have the microwave in here. Yeah, it's got to have loads of stuff now to, to comply to a camper van. It's ridiculous. So I'm not going to bother. The best thing I could do with it having the five seats, I might be able to get it to classed as an MPV. <laughs> um, yeah, reclassed as an MPV. That way I could do 70 miles an hour in the thing. Yay! But so I don't really want to do that because 70 miles an hour, it's just drinking fuel. If I'm going out leisurely driving in this thing, I want to leisurely drive, you know. Music on, just sit, sit back, cruising. It'd be nice to get cruise control hooked up into this thing. Might do it at some point. Pretty sure there's a way. It's uh, it's an engine 
where other vehicles that this engine is fitted to had cruise control, so therefore it must be able to be brought over from that other vehicle into this. It's got to be done. There's got to be some way of doing it. And I'm pretty sure the high advanced models of this van actually come with cruise control. Um, I'm still honestly not sure if this is a Mark 1 or a Mark 2. I think it's just a Mark 1 facelift myself, but to be fair, I prefer the look of the old one. The only thing I do like about this new one, this new new look, is the fact that the headlights are clear, which means you can modify them and put projector lenses in them. Those nice bi-xenon projector lenses you can get. It'd be quite nice to do that. At some point I'll be doing that. Yeah, there's the mark from where I was going to put the, uh, the floor uh, to here. So I was going to have that running all the way across here to here, to this lip because it's going to get wedged into there basically which is why I'm wedging the, uh, the plyboard sheet it's going to be interesting to try and get this bow because this bows inwards this does so to try and reclaim that bow effect on the plyboard to cut it is going to be fun I might have to get someone to give me a hand on that looking directly up at it you can see how arched it is it's not a completely flat surface it's very arched so, yes. Whew, interesting stuff. Anyway, that'll do for now. I'm going to go in, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll, uh, yeah, again, see you on the next video. Peace out. Yeah, and just to show how, uh, how good that worked. Access to my little secret compartment. <laughs> I'm rather impressed with how well that works. Nice. Nice little storage area. Beautiful. Yep, sorry, I went with the dark stuff. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait, I'm afraid. Went with the dark stuff. actually gone on quite well. If I bang that up proper, you won't be able to tell the difference. Beautiful. Bit of a uh, mishap there, but uh, it's fine. Cool. I'm happy with that. Nice. Nice.